Hi, I'm Chef Nicholas Lodge and welcome to this Katie Sue Designs video where I'll be showing you how to use the new Katie Sue Designs Succulent Pots mold. So let's get started. This is a new Katie Sue mold which has uh, three, uh, two of them are quite contemporary style and uh, pots and of course you're you can do lots of options here as far as the color. Uh, this one here I did as a um, a terracotta pot, all right? So I actually use like a terracotta color. Uh, this is sugar, but in air drying clay, you could use a little bit of orange and brown in your white. And then I've done the sort of the, the succulent, like an aloe style succulent in like a um, eucalyptus color. And the eucalyptus color I've used here for the, um, for the top of the succulent. And then um, the here, I've done the one in a sort of a contemporary, style all right so it's got a contemporary pot and then of course this has got the top and i've done this just in a green i'm going to show you this actual one and then this one here i've done in a actually an orange color sort of almost a peachy color because i painted this with some rose gold color so if you wanted to use metallics and especially for craft um, craft on cards and things like that it looks uh, attractive but you want to start off with like a peachy color for, uh, for example, copper or rose gold. And if you're gonna do a yellow uh, gold pot, you want to start off with a yellow paste. And then if you're gonna do silver, start off with gray. All right, that's a little tip for metallics so you get more depth. Now, when we use the mold, and of course these succulents work very well with the whole theme of my Flower Pro succulents. And of course, if you were doing again uh, cookies at a wedding and you had succulents on the cake, you could of course use these on cookies and I'll show you some different ideas. Now, first of all, I'm gonna take a little bit of vegetable uh, fat shortening. I'm just gonna use a short bristle brush and then I'm going to just brush that just very lightly into the mold. A lot of the Katie Sue molds we use cornstarch, corn flour on, but I found the this is quite deep, this mold. So if you were doing all three of them, um, but it's a very, very light uh, coating of vegetable fat or vegetable shortening. You can also use solid coconut oil as well. And um, we're going to take the paste. Now, when you generally make these, um, these, we're going to do them in two colors, but of course also you could do it in solid white and then you could paint it. So for example, I could actually paint this pot black and then I could paint this top part green. And especially with you're doing, if you're working with air drying clay, the hardy air drying clay, that's an alternative to using two colors. But here, what I'm doing is I'm gonna use the same technique on all three of these, where I'm actually going to make the pot. Now with the size here, we're using the size guide. So I'm going to use my Flower Pro size guide. So I'm gonna use a number 10 small. So we're using the size guide and we use a number 10 that goes through the hole. All right, this will give you a little bit more than you need, but a number 10 small. And uh, now this is, um, you can use flour paste, uh, you can use um, sugar paste with a little bit of tylose in. Uh, so if you follow the directions, obviously with Flower Pro on the videos, for example, my pine cones, you take 60 grams of uh, 60 grams of rolled fondant or sugar paste, and then you would uh, add a quarter of a teaspoon or an eighth of a teaspoon if you want it to be a little softer, but if you want to dry quick, a quarter of a teaspoon of vegetable fat, vegetable shortening to it. Um, you can also do this by, if you're just making a couple of these, you can literally just take a little bit of uh, sugar paste or roll from it and dip it in some tylos and just to firm it up a little bit. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, put this into the mold, all right? And I'm going to use my cosmetic sponge and just press this in the mold. And then I'm gonna take my flexi scraper. So just gonna use your flexi scraper here now this is a, both a Katie Sue and a, a Flower Pro product. So we use this for a lot of the Flower Pro products. But see, this is gonna make sure that the paste is level, but also because of the design elements, because it has these facets on the uh, container, this really, really helps to get you a square base. And if you were gonna attach these to say a card or whatever, then I'm going to just flex the mold and we'll take this out. You see, this gives you this beautiful, these beautiful facets on the edge. And then what I found worked very well, you then take a knife and I'm just gonna cut off that part of the base, all right, of the actual succulent part. Then I will then take this and put it back into the mold. All right, so you're just going to, it will just pop back into the mold. There we go. 
So just put it back into the mold so that has a perfectly square top. You can repress that. And then I'm going to take my green paste. I'm just using a sort of a regular green here. This is number seven size. Okay, so this is normal size number seven. I said all of these sizes are a little bit more than you need, but it's just the way I found the easiest to do it. So one third below, two thirds above. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pinch like almost a little fin. So you're like a little fin on the edge of the paste here like this, all right? And then um, we, I will take a little bit of glue. I'm using here, you can use edible glue or some little bit of piping gel. For air drying clay, this will stick to itself, but you can use a little bit of PVA glue there. And then that little tab, all right, the little tab part there, that will just go onto the back of the pot because this connects the two pieces together because if you made the green part and the white part, they're not going to actually sort of connect together very well. So this makes it obviously work very well. And then you're gonna press this in to the with your cosmetic sponge, I'm going to press it in, and then I'm going to use my flexi scraper. You see, with my flexi scraper, I'm just going to actually just going to use the flexi scraper like this, and then just will re press that in with my cosmetic sponge. So you see that is actually giving me a level top. And then you see how you're going to get the piece here. All right, and then I'm just going to flex my mold and the piece comes out and here you have your fabulous succulent in a pot. All right, so this is gonna be how you would do the succulent in the pot. And of course, also you could use these for, you know, garden theme to contemporary theme. Of course, the little terracotta pot, you could just use the pot part like I showed you the white pot and then you could do little flowers with other Katie Sue molds in a garden theme. So it's very, very nice to use. But these are all more contemporary style pots. Once you've got these made, now continuing on with the, um, obviously the, the one here, this is actually going to be the, the sort of the nine, number nine size and number nine size. So that one again, you can see when it goes in the mold, you would use a number nine of like a terracotta color. And then I, take it out, cut off the top, put it back in the mold, and number nine. And I've used a eucalyptus. Now those of you especially working in air drying clay, using the measuring mold, all right, so using the Katie Sue measuring mold, you have all these fantastic colors that you can create, like the eucalyptus color uh, here, that will be like made um, with the, uh, the eucalyptus sage color, a number one white, number five dark green, number nine blue. So again, there is a video that shows how to use the measuring mold that also does come with the flexi scraper that's included with the measuring mold. But that's really good for creating the various greens because when we do the succulents, you want more a lot of these like sage greens and of course you can do dark greens as well. And of course this has got the ombre colors um, and of course this shows the ombre colors. And again, on the video, I show how to actually use this to get, and this is also really nice colors. If you take the dark green hardy clay and go down to sort of like the number six or number seven of dark green and number one of white, you'll get again these nice sage colors, which are really good for your succulents. And um, so, and then that would, when that comes out, this will give you obviously this pot here and you can put these to dry. So with air drying clay, um, you can also use these with chocolate. You can use modeling chocolate, you can use marzipan. Um, so there's lots and lots of options here. And then finally, the, the one here, which obviously I've done with the uh, top there, that's gonna be a number 10 um, for the base part. All right, so number 10, and the top part there is gonna be a number eight. All right, so this is a 10 and an eight. And again, you can see how I've done the, more of a sort of a peachy color. All right, and this means when you paint this rose gold, but remember if this was gonna be gold, you would use yellow. If it was gonna be silver, you would use gray. Um, so there's lots and lots of options there. So once you've made the succulents, um, then you can be creative, and I'm gonna show you some ideas for coloring. So I'm going to use some color here. This is a color called Ondina Rose, which is almost a sort of mauve color, so you could use purple. Uh, remember in my uh, succulents, obviously videos on one and two, I show obviously the dusting and I'm gonna use an angle brush and I'm just gonna sort of just highlight the raised parts here with a flat brush. 
Now, of course, with craft as well, you can use, of course, acrylic paints and different inks and things like that. But you see, you get that really nice sort of color in onto the succulent. Obviously, terracotta is not shiny, so we're just gonna leave the terracotta pot like this. And then um, next one I'm gonna show you is going to be this little one here. So that one I'm just gonna use like a sort of a mossy green, foliagey green, just sort of a darker green here. And just like I did actually on my succulents, just going to just brush that from the outside to the inside. Not too much because you don't want to get it on the white because it's a very nice coat of contemporary, but you'll see you'll get that sort of almost two-tone color there with that piece. And on this one here, I'm gonna use a little bit of like a eucalyptus color. Again, just gonna brush that onto the top. Now for, if you're using this for in air drying clay, of course you can use um, metallic paints um, for when we are doing things in, for example, sugar, of course, this could be used, this is a highlighter, all right? It's non-toxic, but uh, if you're gonna do things like this on cookies, then you would need to make sure you're using an edible. Um, so there are several companies that do edible food paints, all right, which are obviously, uh, as I said, compliant to use on food items like cookies, all right? So you could obviously paint that with an edible food paint, or obviously for craft, you could use a sort of, uh, you know, metallic um, paint. All right, and um, so there are many, many options we have, especially for craft. And then uh, once you've got your uh, pieces made, and, and of course you could totally take your, um, as I said, you could take this and we could paint that pot black, and then we could obviously then paint that green. Um, and again, you know, with um, especially with craft, you're a little bit more versatile in products that we can use. If this was hardy clay, we could use acrylic paint here, we could use inks or paints uh, for the top part. So this gives you your cookie. So the cookies are really nice to use. Um, so you could use these uh, attached to um, obviously a cookie here. I just have a royal icing cookie with a royal icing beadwork on the, so quite sort of simple. And I'm going to show you this. So this is a um, like an edible paint, all right? So you can just put a little bit of royal icing onto there. And then you are just gonna take that, gonna put that onto your cookie. So you put, put it onto your cookie here. So you can see you can do obviously succulents on your cookie. And of course you could also do, if you're going for a more rustic look, you can use my log slice. Uh, now I have a YouTube um, on Katie Sue Design which shows how to use my log slice to actually bake biscuits or cookies in. And then this is uh, actually painted with some white gel color with a little bit of yellow in and then some brown around the edge. So if you were going more for a rustic look, um, so check out that video. Then of course you could use this, you know, like for example on the cookie, um, you could just attach that. So if you were doing a cookie like this, um, it'd be very nice. And of course, if you were making like, if it was this, this was uh, of course black or navy blue, you know, like for example, navy blue and rose gold is very popular wedding colors. So if you did a flooded royal icing or a sugar paste or rolled fondant navy blue cookie, and then you use this on the top of that, that would look really stunning. Um, little, uh, as I said, a really cute uh, little uh, small succulent pots. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to use the new Katie Sue Design Succulent Pots mold. And we'll have lots of fun using this to create beautiful cookies and craft projects. And also use it with my Flower Pro Succulent Mold for the ultimate combination for all your succulent needs. Until next time, this has been Chef Nicholas Lodge. Sweet wishes, bye.